we need to have something in place, programs in place, that we can deal with our mentally challenged people. These are the things that we need to do. We need to have social development in this country. We need to develop sports. When I was 14 years old, I'm 38 now. I played basketball on that basketball court right there. Same old, same old. I know the steel is there for the steel building for the indoor basketball court, but it's not being done. We need to have people in office to get things done. And this is why the people of Valley North need to elect Sutcliffe Hodge to office in February of 2010. This is a man with a vision. I have full faith in him. When he was the general manager of, 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 of Cable and Wireless, Cable and Wireless was so impressed with the job that he was doing that they made him the regional manager with a budget that he surpassed our budget 10 times over. And he did a good job. They employed him. And when you vote for Sutcliffe Hodge Dove, you will be employing him. And you will see the type of job that he can do. You will see the type of job that Sutcliffe will do. And you will see the type of representation the people of Valley North and the people of Angola truly deserve. This is all it's about. It's about representation. And it is about the plans and programs that Mr. Hodge has come with. The plans for education, the plans for health, the plans for the economy. I see nothing wrong with the plans. They can tweak here and there, but I'm sure that he will have a team around him that can bring these plans, plans to fruition and make the people of Anguilla proud once again. We need to develop the people. People first. And that's where Sutcliffe comes in. People first. Let me tell you something. The Anguilla United Front continues to ignore the real issues that we are confronted with. We are confronted with some serious issues in this country. Just recently, and I like to speak about it over and over again because we seem to have temporary memory loss more often than we should. Chris Bryant, Curtis Bryant, Chris Bryant sent a letter to the Chief Minister of Anguilla to deal with Anguilla's public finances. And the government of Anguilla needed a $20 million loan. And Chris Bryant said to the government of Anguilla, if you touch that $20 million, you have to implement taxes in Anguilla. You have to implement income tax, value-added tax, corporate tax, and all of these taxes. And I have the document right here to prove it. They say I'm walking around with documents without signatures. Here is the signature of Chris Brandt, and I hope you can see it. I put it up for the camera to see. This is what is the truth, and this is what he said. I am prepared, however, to agree exceptionally to the government of Anguilla borrowing $20 million to cover the recurrent deficit over the next six months, provided that you commit now to the introduction of new revenue measures no later than the beginning of the financial year 2010 to broaden your revenue base as identified by an independent study to analyze the impact of public finances of a range of new taxes and initiatives. They're not addressing these issues. These are what we are confronted with. And while, and while they are about to tax everything out of us, they have signed a memorandum of agreement. And I would like to put the signatories up for the camera to see. Mr. Victor Banks and Mr. Osborne Fleming. They signed this memorandum of agreement on July the 7th, 2009. And there's a piece in here that deals with taxation. And I want to read it for the people of Anguilla so that they can hear. Taxation. Corporate income tax. The government agrees that should any corporate tax based on the income, our asset, our equity holdings be introduced in Angola, the developer along with any shareholders, parents, subsidiaries, subtenants, our affiliates in Angola will be exempted from payment of such tax for a period of 20 years. 20 years following the delivery and execution of this memorandum of agreement. 
So while each and every one of us have to pay these taxes and increase food costs, increase electricity bills, increase telecommunication bills, because the banks has confirmed that they will put a 5% tax on your telephone bills, these developers get away from paying any taxes for 20 years. So in the 2030s, they will start to pay taxes. And where will we be? Where will our children be? Where will our social services be? Where will our schools be in 30 years if they are not paying the taxes and the poor people of this country, including myself, have to pay everything to the government of Angola and to subsidize these multi-billionaire multinationals? These are the facts, people. And I want to bring something to light again tonight. And I never spoke about it before because there's so many issues that we can talk about, yet the United Front is ignoring the issues that are affecting the people of this country. In this memorandum of agreement, here is what the United Front has also agreed to. Implementing legislation. Where necessary or appropriate, the government agrees to introduce to the House of Assembly draft legislation to give effect to the provisions of this memorandum of agreement, such as, but not limited to, the annual levies on the luxury real estate products. So we can even change our legislation to facilitate them. But it's bigger than this. And I want the people of Anguilla to know that these memorandum of agreements that were signed between the government of Anguilla and these developers was never debated in the House of Assembly. So when Sutcliffe Hodge is elected, they will go to the House of Assembly and he will put to the people of this country and he will put to the developers and he will put to everyone that we need to renegotiate the terms and agreements that is set down in these memorandum of agreements. We need to negotiate on behalf of the people of this country. I asked Mr. Victor Banks and he cannot deny this. I like proof because they like to do things to keep you silent. And they're trying to silence me all the time. I asked Mr. Banks, why is it that the people of Anguilla have to pay for the 20% stake in Capjaluca when all of the developers who was fighting for Capjaluca had promised to give the people of Anguilla no money in, 20% stake? He said to me, First of all, he tried to deny it, but I reminded him that I was at Capjaluca at the time as the operations manager, and I was part of that. And he backed down. And he said, well, during the course of negotiations, things change. This is what he said. During the course of negotiations, things change. On whose behalf? On the developer's behalf, but not on our behalf. So now if we want that 20% stake, we have to pay tens of millions of dollars to get that. U.S. dollars, and the government of Angola can't even pay the civil servants on time. Come on, people. Come on, people. Come on, people. This is the reality campaign. This isn't what they're talking about. This is the reality campaign. And Sutcliffe Hodge is taking the reality campaign to the people of Valley North and the people of Anguilla. The people of Anguilla need to wake up. I have been speaking for a very long time. I'm not looking for any job or anything. I am looking for the people of Anguilla. And Ronald Webster have told me to keep on fighting, son. Keep on fighting for the people of this country. And that I have pledged to do. But I will tell you something. If you want to see me silent, vote for the front. Vote for them again. And I will say no more. Listen. We were all brought up in church. I don't care who you are in Anguilla. You were brought up in one church or the next. And we all learn of the story of Noah. And Noah preached to the people for over 100 years. And the people did not listen. And the floods came and swallowed them all up. And when it was too late, they tried to scramble on the, on the ark. They were saying, what is this stupid old man talking about? He built an ark in the middle of the desert. Yeah, yeah. But when the flood came, it yeah. swallowed them all up. Yeah. And they perished. I am saying to the people of Valley North and the people of Anguilla, if you do not heed the words of the people that Victor Banks have called losers, yeah. 
you too will perish. 